you're probably sitting there thinking, this is a good opportunity. I clicked on it because I'm curious, should I do it? If you want to know, keep watching. All right, I've been in the insurance business about a decade now. I'm a big fan of the insurance industry. And there's a couple reasons why. Number one, there are more, most people don't know this, there are more millionaires in the financial services and insurance industry than any other industry on the planet Earth. Boom, mic drop. Also, 92% of insurance agents fail in their first three years. You may be saying, that's a massive number. You may be saying, well, how the heck does that talk me into joining the industry? Well, it's the most lucrative, which means it should probably be the hardest. Am I right? You're not gonna have massive success with superb easiness. It just doesn't, they don't go together. I love that, and I heard that when I was a new agent, right? My manager, first day, my manager had 10 people stand up, and it was it was a recruiting meeting, and then he had nine of us sit down and said, that one, one of you, one of you will make it. I'm like, this dude don't know me, man. I'm definitely gonna be that one. I don't know about the rest of you guys, but I'm definitely gonna be that one, and because of that, I view things as a challenge. I'm a competitive individual, a driven individual. If I do a disc assessment, I'm 100 on a D and a 90 on an I, if you know what I'm talking about. And I view a lack of success in an area. Most say, well, you know what, that's hard, so you should actually avoid that career. Well, that's not how I think. I think, well, it's hard, so most people won't do it because most people will give up. Most people aren't strong-willed. They don't have an, they're not, they're not mentally there. Their mental game isn't strong. They want the easy way out. Dude, I don't want the easy way out, right? I want to grind it out. I want to out earn and outwork other people. I want to prove that when somebody can't do something that I can. That's my thought behind things and, and why I believe this is such an amazing industry. Okay, I also believe that it creates a financial freedom that is unlike anything else. Financial, financial freedom, but also a time freedom. There's a lot of insurance agents that I know that are earning a quarter million bucks residually or half a million dollars and or more and they're not having to put in 40, 50, 60 hours or more every week anymore, All right? So if you wanna be that type of individual, that's available. And so I'm, my, I really wanna ask you a question. Watch this right now. Because you clicked saying, okay, is, is selling insurance a good career opportunity? I want you to ask yourself, do I want financial freedom? Do I want to make, do, do I want to earn CEO money without having to cr climb the corporate ladder? Do I want to better choose what I do when I do it? Are you a driven individual? Do you have good people skills? Are you persuasive? Are you enthusiastic? Do you have desire? Are you driven? And the most important question of the 10 question test that I just made up on the spot, do you have discipline? And that's the most important thing that you can ask yourself right now. Most people don't have discipline. I just heard from a gentleman recently that was homeless and is now earning $70,000 a month because of this career in this industry. And because everyone I feel like has desire, but very few people have discipline. And this dude has discipline. He shows up, he wakes up at 3 a.m., he, 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 he meditates for an hour, reads for an hour, works out for an hour, and, and takes a cold shower every single day. Because when he does those things, anything else seems easy. Picking up the phone seems easy. Door knocking seems easy. Going out and doing what you know you should do seems easy. Talking to random strangers seems, seems easy. When you wake up at 3 a.m., do those three things. Oh, and take a cold shower. Right, so my question to you is, are you disciplined? If you're a disciplined individual to where you will do things that you don't want to do, then this career is for you. If you think you're a quitter and not disciplined and you say, and you're someone that talks a big game and says you're going to do stuff but doesn't actually back it up by doing stuff, then this industry is definitely not for you. Right? There's enough people out there that think they have whatever it takes, say they're going to do whatever it takes. They think, oh my gosh, I got, got the gift of gab. I can talk to people. Discipline is what it takes to succeed in this industry. I personally love this industry. My father's been in the business for close to 30 years, here in about two months. I've been in the industry since I was 19 as an intern. As an intern, I started out calling out of a phone book for a veteran insurance agent. Getting my head beat against the wall with no success because I had no skill. And then 
I shortly transitioned into being a full-time insurance agent. I'm, I'm 20 years old, in college, playing basketball, taking 21 credit hours a semester, practices, tournaments, games, full-time student athlete, and I made a decision. And you're right now watching this are gonna have to make a decision. I made a decision that I wanna earn $100,000 my first year in the insurance business. And by setting that as a goal and saying, I wanna earn 100K my first year and writing it out, just like this, and I'm gonna challenge you to do the same thing. If you're thinking about getting this business, you gotta have a goal, you gotta be challenged, you gotta be thinking like this. I wanna earn $100,000 my first year in the insurance business. Sign it, date it, and what I did is I put it up on the wall of my cubicle. And so every single day, I thought about making that a reality. And I did whatever it took. So when I'm 20, I would bring over college kids from Baptist Bible College here in Springfield, Missouri, and I would give them a script, cash, gift cards, a cubicle, a chair, a phone, a script, and I would have them cold call with me to book appointments because I was limited on time. I could have made a lot of excuses. I don't have time. I don't have any money. I don't know what to do. I don't have any insurance experience. I have no sales experience, lack of product knowledge. I could have made a lot of excuses. But instead of excuses, I believe in results. There's an agency that, I'm a part, that, that, that I help train and, and that we do some marketing for them. Their phrase is, no excuses, only results count. And, and I'm a big believer in that. Only results count. So I determined to make my results count. I did a lot of cold calling. I also remember on a, on a Friday leaving school early and driving an hour and a half to Willow Springs, Missouri and door knocking 175 doors and not stopping till almost 10 o'clock at night until people are like, dude, get off my lawn, bro. Uh, so I door knocked senior housing area for about 125 doors, went to an apartment complex for another 50 doors because I was someone's going to do whatever it took. You know, you can say, well, I, I failed because I didn't know what to do. I was a 92 percenter because I didn't know what to do. I'm creative, I'm gonna find a way. So by cold calling and cold door knocking and doing whatever it took and grinding it out and felling along the way and having great, great days and bad days and bad weeks and getting cursed out and people saying no and hearing rejection 42,000 times in my first eight months, by committing to hitting my goal and doing the math and breaking it down and following my set, sit, sell system where I wanna set 15 appointments a week, sit with 10 and sell five, I was fortunate. Very fortunate. This is a humble brag. I earned $117,361.13 at 20 years old in my first eight months. And I'm doing this video because I believe it's the best career opportunity on planet Earth. I also believe that, a lot of people believe that it, you know, you should, it, who you choose to, to, to partner with to go sell insurance is, is, is the most important decision. I, I think you being mentally strong and getting your head right and committing to success is the most important part. I, I was on a 35% commission level. I was captive. I had one carrier, one product, didn't know what to do, no sales experience, no insurance experience, no leads, cold calling, door knocking. I was struggling. But even though I was struggling, I was committed. I knew that I had whatever it takes. I knew that when other people wouldn't cold call, I would cold call. I knew that when other people wouldn't knock on doors of people they didn't know, I'll knock on doors of people I don't know. Because there's a saying out there, some will, some won't, so what, who's next? I'm a believer that anyone on planet Earth can earn $100,000 their first year in the insurance business. I'm not special. I'm not the greatest salesperson on planet Earth. I'm not the best looking dude, even though a lot of people think so on planet Earth. I'm no freaking Brad Pitt, right? But I know that deep down, I want to win. I want to not only have desire, but I also want to have discipline. I know that even though most people will fail, that I won't if I show up every day and don't quit. So that's my words of wisdom to you. That's my thoughts for you. And I want to leave you with the one final challenge. Because again, I, I don't think it matters where you end up. I think it matters that your head's right and that someone says this is the hardest career on planet Earth. But it's also the most rewarding. So my challenge for you is during this search of holy crap, should I do this? I want you to think back on this video. I want you to think back on my story. And I want it to be a little extra motivation for you that most people fail. 
The average insurance agent only makes about 50 grand a year. The average insurance agent works more than 40 hours a week. The average insurance agent, even though it sounds sexy to be your own boss, spends more money than a lot of business owners. The average insurance, and, and, and if you don't invest in your business, you will fail. If you don't take risks, you will fail. If you don't wake up and commit to be in the best version of you, you will fail. If you're not committed to personal development, self-improvement, you will fail. I learned by listening to Brian Tracy's The Art of Closing the Cell. Every single day, I listened to that audio book, those CDs, and every day I turned my car into a mobile sales university because I was committed. I didn't just show up. I didn't halfway do things. I didn't just show up and not learn anything over the weekend and just say, well, I'm ready. I hope I, I hope I make it. I hope I make some money. And I don't want you to do that either. Don't be like most people and fail. Be like the ones that have succeeded. There's been a lot of people that have succeeded bigger than I have. But I know that the question, is selling insurance a good career opportunity? The answer is emphatically yes. Hey, if you like this video, I've got another one on how to create a six-figure renewal income so that you wake up and you make six figures. Just right there. Click on it. You'll want to watch that video and I'll see you there. As agents, we do have to evolve. We've got to have an eye on the future. I understand that scripts are valuable, particularly in call center environments.